We know what bugs us about the narcissist. We know what upsets us about their actions, their attitudes, their basic way of being. But have you ever thought about what gets under their skin, what they can't stand? Better yet, the things that narcissists hate. Let's deep dive into those things today in today's video. Hi friends, glad to be back today. And today we're gonna deep dive about narcissists. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel because it helps us know that we're doing something right as well as commenting on these videos. We love to read the comments and I always like to respond back. So let's deep dive into those things that narcissists hate. One thing that narcissists really hate is the lack of admiration and attention. And I find this interesting because narcissists like to be looked upon as if they're gods and goddesses to all of us and we're just peons. So they like the fact that we admire them, we look up to them, we give them, shower them with attention. And this is a big deal. And if you're not doing that and you're neglecting that and you're not admiring them and you're not giving them attention, they're going to hate that because they're not getting what they want from you. They're not getting what they're used to getting. And so therefore they're going to be very upset and wonder why you're not giving it to them. Another thing that narcissists hate is criticism and rejection. And this is a big deal. So being criticized, told that they're not good enough or told that something's wrong and what they've done, as well as rejecting them, you know, not being there, not taking them in, not becoming their best friend or becoming their love interest. And that can be very disarming because a narcissist is not used to that. They're used to getting their way and they're used to people like basically kissing their ass. So if you do the opposite, they probably don't know how to deal with it and they're definitely not going to like it. Another aspect is them not being in control. Narcissists love control. They like to be in control of you and everybody around them. They also like to triangulate the situation too, right? To control the narrative, to control what everybody's saying and doing so that nobody's talking about them and they're constantly keeping everybody at bay. It's perfect for them because they can tell you one thing and totally do another and they don't have accountability. So this is definitely something that they can't stand is that if you take the control away from them, they feel completely out of water because that's not what they're used to having. Another aspect is boundaries. Boundaries, that's like a four letter word. Obviously it's not, but that's something that narcissists hate as well, is that having boundaries means that you have kind of rules and regulations of ways that you wanna be treated and things that you will and will not accept. And again, that goes back to control and they don't like that. Accountability. Many of us are very happy with the fact that we are accountable for what we do. We take accountability for our actions, but a narcissist does the opposite. They do not want to be held accountable. They want to be able to do whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do, and nobody's supposed to criticize them or call them out on it. So if you hold them accountable and responsible for what they're doing, they're definitely not going to like that because they don't like it when people actually hold the light up to their actions and what they do instead of what they say. Another aspect is the concept of being ignored. The last thing that a narcissist wants is to be ignored. They'd rather have good attention or bad attention, but definitely attention. So if you're ignoring them, you're taking away all the attention, you're starving them from attention, they're going to wonder what is wrong with you, and they're going to try to get that attention from you, whether it be good or bad. Walking away or abandoning the narcissist is a big no-no because they're used to being able to get what they want and they're used to being the one that abandons or walks away first. So if you do that first, that's definitely a problem because the narcissist will eventually walk away when they've gotten everything they can get out of you and they don't see any other reason to be spending time with you. Another aspect is the aging process. Narcissists do not like to age. They do not like to get older because they like the look of their exterior. Their exterior is very important to them and other people, their exterior is important to them too. But to a narcissist, their exterior is way more important than other people. They actually value their exterior looks to a large degree because a lot of times that they're able to pull people in that way. Also, a lot of times their self-esteem, remember, is really not exactly how they portray it to be. And so a lot of times they put their value on their exterior looks. And when they begin to get older, that becomes a major problem for the narcissist and they're gonna find any way of mitigating that. Another aspect is other people's success. Obviously the narcissist is more uh, focused on their own personal success and your success is great as long as it benefits them as well. So if your success doesn't benefit them, they don't like it. I don't know one narcissist on the planet that likes to be challenged, especially challenged as far as questioning their stories or questioning what they did instead of what they said. The last thing that they like to do is being called on the carpet. They wanna be able to say whatever they say, do whatever they do, and nobody questions anything. So if you challenge a narcissist, they're probably not gonna be happy about it. 
Another concept is feeling looked down on. And I don't think any of us like to feel looked down on. But more importantly, the narcissist is so into how other people see them, the perception of them by others, that it takes up their mind share. It takes up a huge amount of their mental capacity. And so the concept of being looked down upon others is very scary, it's stressful, and it actually saddens the narcissist because they put so much stock in what other people think, even though they act like they don't. There's a misnomer out there that narcissists prefer to go with insecure people, non-strong individuals, and that's not the case. They actually prefer to go after strong people because they want to have that perception that they have the coolest, most beautiful, most amazing, most successful friends and lovers on the planet. But the interesting part about it is they actually want to take that strong person and literally break them down. Okay, and so the last thing that a narcissist want is a strong person that's gone through everything, gone through the mental manipulation and the emotional manipulation and is still strong. This is something they definitely hate because they're wanting to cut you down to size and take you through the ringer. Another thing that the narcissist hates is being told no, and that goes hand in hand with criticism and rejection, so that's obvious. An interesting concept too that I find is that they don't like to see other people successful unless their success, those other people's success actually helps them, but they also don't like to see other people happy. And that's something that's very interesting because when somebody else is happy, they're usually going to have disdain for that. And the reason for that is because the narcissist is really completely unhappy. And that's why they do what they do. And that's their attitude is because internally, they are very unhappy and disappointed. Another aspect that I find interesting is being confronted with the truth. And that's very similar to being held accountable, right? So anytime that you're confronting them with the truth, the opposite or something different than what they say, you're questioning them, you're holding them accountable, and you're also criticizing them to some degree. So these all fall in line with the things that they hate. Another aspect that I find interesting is when narcissists are unable to manipulate other people because manipulation is part of their control. So if you can spot manipulation a mile away, they're not going to like that because you're not going to be able to be under their mind control. And that's something that they pride themselves in. It's also something that they're used to. Empathy. Empathy is something that narcissists don't have. And it's something that they can also take advantage of other people with. But real empathy is very interesting because empathy also begins with ourselves. And so if we are empathic and have empathy for ourselves, usually what happens is we remove ourselves from the relationships with the narcissist because over time we realize that we're actually doing ourselves a disservice and hurting ourselves. And so the concept of empathy is not something that is liked nor respected by the narcissist. Another aspect is being argued with. The last thing that they want to do is being in an argument where you're challenging them, questioning them, pushing for the truth. And again, that kind of goes back to the same predication is that when we do that, they don't like that because it takes them out of the control. It takes them out of their comfort zone. And all of a sudden, a lot of times they don't have answers for your questions, which also gives you the answer immediately because if they can't respond back, you know that something's wrong. And that's not where they like to be. They like to be controlling the narrative and they like to control your emotions and how you feel about them. Another thing that I find interesting is them not being a priority. They definitely want to be your number one person. They want you to be at their beck and call. They want you to be there for anything they need. So if they don't feel like a priority in your life, they're not going to be happy about that because they want you to be there and stop whatever you have to stop to help them out with whatever they need. Another thing that they hate, obviously, is exposure. A narcissist does not like to be exposed for who they are because they're creating a different type of image and optics to the world, right? They're creating a very outgoing, personable, charismatic individual that they want everybody to feel that. They don't want people to know that they're manipulative and controlling and narcissistic. So exposing them to other people is not something that they appreciate. And usually what happens is they'll they'll cut ties, but it's also something that they're not used to dealing with. Another interesting one that I find is apologizing. Many of us don't find it hard to apologize to other people for the things that we've done because we've done it and we feel bad about it. But when it comes to the narcissist, the idea of apologizing isn't part of their vocabulary. The closest you might get is, I'm sorry you feel that way, but very rarely are they going to give you any sort of solid apology unless it's another type of manipulation to get you to do something else for them that they need you to do. Another concept is commitment, committing to a relationship, committing to a friendship, committing to a romantic relationship, commitment being there, following through, doing what they say they're going to do. 
all these things are very interesting because when you commit to something, you have to do that. And so the last thing they really want to do that, a lot of times they're very wishy-washy about that. They don't really want to put themselves out there. And so think about that. It's really hard to have something really solid with these individuals because they really never really solidly commit to anything. Ooh, one of my favorites is consequences. Consequences for one's actions. Okay, this is something that the narcissist doesn't even know exists. It's unbelievable. It's like they do things day after day, week after week, year after year, when not even thinking that there could be a possible consequence from their action. And that's what's so interesting. And that's why they sometimes do some things that we go, that is so crazy or so ballsy. It's because they don't think about consequences. They don't think about... I have to deal with this. I do this and this could be the outcome. And that's really challenging, especially when you call them on that, when you actually stand up for consequences as far as boundaries. So when they do something to you, you've created a boundary. There's a consequence. You're going to end this relationship or you're going to change the predication of this relationship. That's something that they don't like to deal with. One aspect that I really like to talk about too is gray rocking. The last thing that a narcissist wants to do is to have someone gray rock them, not to tell them their innermost feelings, their deeper feelings about themselves, not to tell them the most painstaking things that's happening in their life so they can use it later to hurt them or manipulate them. And so gray rocking is great. And that's what narcissists hate is because it keeps the narcissist at bay, away from the important stuff that the narcissists could use to actually turn back on us. The last thing that I want to discuss in today's video is not getting advice from the narcissist. The narcissist definitely loves to give advice on anything, even if they don't really know a lot about the subject because they think they do, whether it's running a business, running a restaurant, any sort of software question, a, a marital question, even a child rearing question, they definitely want to be able to put their two cents in there. So if you're not asking them for advice, they kind of feel like they're being snubbed and rejected in the process. And that can make them question and wonder, hmm, where are you getting your advice from? What's going on and what has changed in this relationship? So I hope this video has helped you because these are 25 things that the narcissist definitely can't stand. Gets under their skin, makes them really upset and angry, and makes them question what's going on with you and what's changed. Because before, everything seemed to be going well, and now it seems that you're not giving them all the attention. You're not asking for all the advice. You've actually kind of walked away, or you're actually very successful on your own two feet. I hope this video has connected with you. In the meantime, we have actually started something new. It's the Live Your True Lifestyle. And so it's about finding clothes that actually express your inner you. And so it's not narcissistic. It's actually just about even feeling more comfortable in your skin, being able to wear things that actually highlight you and actually connect with your personality. And so the link will actually be in the description below. In the meantime, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It makes us know we're doing something right. And what about this video? What did you think about it? Were there some things that I left out about what the narcissist hates? Is there something that you want to expound on a little bit that I didn't really explain more? Because I'd really like to have this here because I think a lot of people can learn from this, grow from this, and turn the tables around on the narcissist completely. In the meantime, don't forget to live your true life.